Whoa! A figure of you that's not Evangelion or Godzilla related? What is this treason? You know, I said it in the Loot Crate unboxing video, link in the description and at the end of the video, and I decided to really just go and run with it. I really, really, really like this figure a whole lot, so I feel it definitely deserves its own video. So obviously we are going to be talking about the Aelita Battle Angel collectible figure that is a Loot Crate exclusive, and this is the Aelita Motorball Body Diorama minifigure. And up first we are looking at the box, this is the box that was in the Loot Crate, the box within the box, and we have some very nice pictures of the figure on both sides. And we have uh, 99 and some arrows pointing up. I don't know if that's the name of the, if that has anything to do with the company, but 88 rising, 99 rising. <laughs> okay, that's enough of the box. Now let's take a look at this lovely, lovely figure. Okay, up first, the figure itself, it, it's pretty simple. Like, there's nothing outre crazy about it, but it's an eye catcher, mostly for its colors and just the fact that it's a diorama set. Let's zoom things in for a better look. I really just wanted to talk about the detail that's presented on this figure, and for the most part, Aelita's body is very, very well detailed. Considering she's somewhat mechanical in nature, uh, I, I believe, I've never read the Battle Angel manga, I've never seen anything up until now, so the movie will more than likely be my first outing, but from what I've seen so far from trailers, and little snippets of art from the manga. This looks really, really good, and I really like the color. Purple and gold with little bits of a darkened, crushed silver. Looks really, really nice. And the eyes on Aelita, the way they were printed on, they were done very, very beautifully. No major flubs on it whatsoever. Aelita's got a bit of a serious look on her face. She's got... You know, I just noticed that her lips were painted. Literally right after I unboxed this thing, I just brought it over to the reviewing table because I just knew I was going to talk about it, but I had no idea her lips were painted. That's really, really nice. I really like how the hair is sculpted. I don't know what it is with me and hair on figures, but if it's sculpted very, very well and the style of the hair fits the style of the figure, that's major brownie points for me. Now, what I mean by style is, obviously, this is a very cartoony, blocky-esque kind of a figure, and I just love that, like, the ends of her hair over here, they're like, you know, they're blocky, they're very square, they look like thick pieces of linguine, for lack of a better term. Now, I'm assuming this thing over here is the motor ball, and the motor ball looks really, really cool. A little bit of flubbed paint over here, but that's okay, and it looks like the motor Motor ball might actually be a separate piece from all of this. I mean, obviously, Aelita is a separate piece. She's held in place by this little stand over here. And it looks like, judging from that, this was just something that they plugged in and probably glued into place. And since we're here, looking at the ramp, it's got all these different little technical details on the bottom of it. And on the opposite side, it's got like this very translucent feel, but it's not translucent whatsoever. I guess during shipment, one of uh, Aelita's Roller blades over here might have scuffed this up, might have to buff that out later. But since we're at this level, just looking at the detail on Aelita's legs, this is also just so very fantastic. I mean, the straps on her thighs, the scrunching up of the suit or whatever she's wearing, I don't know if that's technically her skin or just a suit, the knee pads over here, the intricate little details over here on her legs, like, this is just really, really cool. And on Aelita's back and backside, there's just, like, clips, there's little robotic features, it's nuts! They crammed a lot of detail into this thing, hell, they even crammed in her knuckles over here. This is easily just one of the coolest figures I've ever gotten from Loot Crate. One of the coolest figures that I got from Loot Crate that wasn't Godzilla related. Just, you know. Obviously, I really enjoy this figure. I like the way it looks, I like the way that it was painted, I like the way that it was detailed, and I like that it's a diorama thing and that it stands on its own. What I don't like, though, is that this is a Loot Crate exclusive. It would have been really, really nice to see this get, like, a store-wide release because I'm not sure how much merchandising we're going to be getting for this movie because as of right now, within the media, I lead a Battle Angels projected to be a box office flop, yet all these critics and people who have seen test screenings are saying that it's fantastic. I don't know where this movie's going to go. And and it would have been nice to at least have one figure out on the major market for this movie. Although I imagine as the movie lives on through home video releases, we will probably see more, but more so from the Japanese side of things. For some reason, I just don't see any American retailers or toy companies really picking up on Aelita. But I'll tell you this much. If figures come out for Aelita Battle Angel in Japan, I am definitely going to be picking a few up. 
I mean, I doubt Bandai is going to do anything major with it. I mean, maybe they'll do some gachapons or something like that. But no, seriously, if there is more Ilita Battle Angel figures coming our way, I will definitely be partaking. But anyway, I hope you lot enjoyed this review of the Ilita Motorball Body Diorama Mini Figurine, the Loot Crate exclusive. You know, I know I mostly talk about mainly Godzilla figures on this channel with a little bit of Evangelion slash Rei Ayanami. But as I'm sitting here looking around my office, I realize I have a lot of figures that I should probably make videos for, a lot of which are not directly related to Godzilla, some are video game related, some are manga related, some are anime related, so why don't you let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see more unrelated Godzilla figure reviews. Because believe me, I have a lot more, plush toys included. Seriously, let me know, because if you don't, I might just end up doing it by myself and I don't want to upset anybody. But anyway, I have been Shin Rob Jira, do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Thank <laughs> you.